And the last and final step of bringing your new Phalaenopsis home would be, you've got some explaining to do. Whether to yourself, if you haven't already reconciled with yourself that you've bought yet another orchid and you said that you wouldn't, or the timing wasn't right, or you didn't have it in the budget, or with your significant other with the rest of the members of the family who are gonna wonder where is this new orchid going to go and how did this happen? So the final step of a new orchid is you've got some explaining to do. Seeing as the only person I have some explaining to do is either myself, my daughter, or all of you watching this video. If you are here, thank you very much and welcome. Let me introduce to you Romeo's Nube. <laughs> Ah, oh, she's been with me a couple of weeks, but yes, let's get back to the explaining thing because it is important that you reconcile with whatever you've done with your family members and that you enjoy your orchid and feel absolutely no guilt whatsoever. So, anywho, one day I had to go to the garden center because I needed pots and my garden center is laid out in such a way that the pots are to the right the orchids are to the left and they are a big distance from each other so there is never a temptation to venture to the orchids because you have to pass them by to get to where you need to be going. In my case, pots. I spied my pots to the right, I saw the size that I needed and had King already moving in that direction when for some reason I don't understand it myself, maybe my nickname has something to do with that. It is Twiga, which is giraffe in Swahili, but my neck turned left while I was moving right and did some kind of a freaky contortion. As I kept walking to the right, my neck kept moving, moving to the left. It was looking a little bit awkward, but in the distance, I spied white. There was something white. And I immediately snapped my neck back and focused on the pots, went to the back section as well, got more pots, and we were done, you think? <laughs> this white speck needed investigating. I know my daughter wished I was done because I'm still telling her the story. Anyway, <laughs> this white speck needed investigating. It would not leave me alone. And trust me, I wasn't in the store for long. I had a very clear plan. Pots, in and out, finish, finito. It wouldn't let me go. I had to find out if I was right. So I went closer and closer. As I went closer and closer, I had two feelings in my heart. The first one being, oh my goodness, there she is. There's Nuba 2.0. And then, oh no, I wish I hadn't gone to the section. I didn't need a confirmation. It doesn't matter if it was Nuba or not. Why did I go and have a look? Anywho, I confirmed that it was Nuva 2.0 and I kept moving. I stuck to my plan. I was rigorous. I was determined. And by now my daughter is rolling her eyes like, uh, yeah, that didn't go so well, did it? <laughs> She's referring to the determination. Anywho, then I was like halfway to the cash register. Know that, in my defense, the garden center is very big and it's quite a distance to get to the cash register. So, you know, like I said, I made it halfway. And then I remembered that Romeo Silvestre sent me something. And that was a little something that I could, you know, fall back on for really necessities. Nuve is not a necessity. <laughs> She's a luxury. And I remembered that little cushion, that little something, and I just thought, oh, Romeo, I love you. Thank you so much. And I whipped around like a cheetah, and I took my pots and my dog, and I went, corre, 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 corre. Because, <laughs> you see, this was the only one of her kind on the bench. And I was like, can you imagine? I changed my mind. Now I can go get her. And then somebody else is carrying her. Oh, the horror. <laughs> so I picked her up, dog in hand, pots in hand. It was a nightmare. What do we not do? What are we told not to do all the time when we bring a new orchid home? Keep her as safe and very protected as possible because bud blast will happen regardless. However, you can avoid it by being careful. <laughs> I got a dog. You know what? King was actually my, uh, let's say, security blanket that I would have to stick to my guns regardless because, you know, I'm not going to carry an orchid home with pots and him on the leash, etc. 
Well, I have trained my dog. I told myself it's going to be okay. <laughs> so, King, myself, and an orchid that was jostling around in a paper bag, and I was trying to hold her still, and I thought, you know what? I know who she is. If I lose the buds, oh well, so be it. And promptly, I did have some bud blast, but not excessively, because as I mentioned, I've had this orchid now a couple of weeks in my collection, and you see how many blooms have opened. Even though I'm still losing another bud, I'll probably lose more buds now that I've brought her outside, but yeah. Isn't she beautiful? So instead of being Nube 2.0, she is Romeo's Nube. Because thank you, Romeo Silvestre, for making this happen. And I feel a little bit, uh, that money could have gone somewhere else. But dang, I just thought, no, I can't. Romeo, I love you. <laughs> thank you so very, very much. And that is how you do with new orchids. You explain yourself. <laughs> I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this video. A little bit of a different approach to how to take care of your new orchid from shop all the way home. Trust me, I'm perspiring here because that breeze was pretty strong in some intervals. Anyway, really appreciate your time. If you have any questions, <laughs> and that includes if you're questioning my sanity, please address that in the comments. <laughs> I am so looking forward to hearing from you. And now I'm going to take Romeo's Nuva back inside because pretty. Oh, just one more thing. You know what the lady said at the cash register at the end? Because they don't even care for the orchids that are on the bench as inventory. It is terrible to see what they're trying to sell. But anyway, the lady at the cash register, who I know very, very well, she said, oh, she's pretty. I said, yes, she is. And she doesn't have any black spots all over her blooms. Well, meanwhile, back then there was only one bloom open and it was the one that has some kind of insect activity on the lip. But she was referring to botrytis, which most of the orchids on the table for sale at full price come with botrytis. So she thinks that's normal. Whereas I know <laughs> it is not. I've never dared tell her, but you know, if they hire me, I will tell them this is not normal. We've got to do something about it. But yeah, she thought she was beautiful because she didn't have any black spots on her. Can you believe it? They are so used to seeing botrytis on their blooms. <laughs> anyway, that as an anecdote, I am so happy to have Romeo's Nuwe back and I hope to do this one justice. Thank you, Romeo Silvestre, so very, very much for putting a smile on my face. And I hope everybody is at peace that I have a new orchid that I explained myself adequately. <laughs> Thank you for staying and watching to the end. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Take care. Bye.